Hello YouTube, this is Arcades Dude Minecraft, and I'm going to just do a video here about how to make videos. Um, what I use and some of the settings that are I found useful that work really well for good quality. Um, I'm not really going to go into the editing too much, but I do want to show you the settings and how things get set up in here. So the first thing is for capturing a video, um, as an example, Minecraft, and how this is how you could also use this to make your own Minecraft videos. Um, you'll need something to capture it, Fraps, or another program. There's also Cam Studio. I'm using Cam Studio to record this video because I am on Windows XP. Um, I just have it skinned to look like Windows 7. But it is XP, and Fraps in XP does not have the option to record the desktop. But I can do that using Cam Studio, which I'm using this codec here for. But, um,. Not going to be using that codec for the Minecraft videos, and you really don't need to worry about Cam Studio in this video. I may do another video about how to make videos of making videos. Whoa, okay, yeah, um, in another video. So you may get to see that eventually. But for now, I just want to go to the basics. Um, you got Fraps. Um, Fraps is a it's not a free program, so. You can use Cam Studio if you don't want to pay for fraps. Um, my frap settings are the first thing is here. Um, I turn I disabled this benchmarking key because F11 is the like the default full screen key for Minecraft and a lot of other programs. So sometimes I want to do Minecraft in full screen, and this caused an issue. So disable that in here because um, it interfered with Minecraft full screen. So all the settings are in movies. Usually this video capture key is F9, and that's what I normally use. I just changed it to F7 because I'm recording this video, and I didn't want to stop the Cam Studio at the same time because that's what I got my Cam Studio set to, F9 as well. So usually I just leave it as F9. You can change it to whatever you want, though. It's the nice thing about this. I do have record sound on. Um, and you can see I got Audacity here recording this video's audio in the background. Uh, this is one way you can do it. Um, Fraps will capture the stereo mix, or you can tell it to capture just mi your microphone settings. What I do is I have Fraps capture the game sounds. I have Audacity capture my audio. My mic has, uh, it's not so great, it's got some annoying hiss. And it doesn't help that I'm about two feet away from my computer's my computer's got like 10 fans in it. I like really overdid it on the cooling and it runs super cold but it's like very noisy. But it works well enough. Um, so what this is, Audacity, I can record the audio from the mic separately with, because I have a separate sound card. It's a Griffin or Griffith. Is it a Griffin? It's an iMic. Griffin iMic. I got it a long time ago for an old Mac that didn't have a standard microphone input just had a USB input so this works well for that I can have my audio from the mic on one and the game sounds in the other and then I can use Sony Vegas here to mix them so the first thing is um, fraps record sound usually this is the best setting stereo mix or it might be in older versions it might be something like what you hear it might say something like that but uh, 2997 is the, pretty much the default for most things. I think if you do, you can, it doesn't really matter what you do here, but you have to match it in your settings here. So you have to remember that. 2997, I think that's from when the first, um, I believe it's when the NTSC standard came about, when Color TV first came around. And they had to change it for to be backwards compatible with old original black and white TV. Don't, I'm not exactly certain on that, but that's what I think. Um, something I read. So they had to like lower the frame rate a little so it would be okay on the the old black and white TV. But what this means is if you encode in 30 frames per second, you might lose a frame or something here and there. So 2997 is pretty much a standard. Um, I don't know what loop buffer length does, but that's the default, 30 seconds. I haven't changed it and I don't really need to. Full size is full resolution, half size is half resolution. Um, you can get better performance, but you're only going to get like half your pixels are going to be recorded. So full size for the most part. 
um, lock frame rate recording. You're going to probably want to do this because if you don't do this, you might have jumpy issues where it speeds up and slows down and just is crazy altogether. I find that the frame rate while recording is much better while this setting is checked. Um, so you might want to leave that checked there. All right, now this next setting is not on by default, and it definitely does slow down the frame rate a little. Maybe slower is true. But force lossless RGB capture will capture the entire, it's lossless, so you don't lose any details. Now, like, let's say you're recording Minecraft. Minecraft is a very dark game a lot of times. There's little light, and you're going to want to fix that in your editor so people can see what you're seeing on your videos. Otherwise, they're just staring at a dark screen with a little bar at the bottom. Sometimes you can't even see that in their videos, and it's just terrible. I mean, if they have good good commentary, it's great to listen to, but if it's just just a black screen and it's boring, then you're probably going to tune out. But if you can see the video, great. And it is possible in Minecraft to see the video, um, but you're going to need to capture those fine details so that you can use your editor to up your gamma. Not the brightness, but the gamma. The gamma will make a correction. The colors may look distorted, but it'll look be it, it'll look much better. I mean, you'll be able to see the picture. And you can see that in some of my videos, um, especially when I go indoors and in caves and whatnot. So. That's just uh, something to keep in mind. Make sure that's checked, and in your video editor, up the gamma. That way, people can see the see the uh, dark shots. And uh, that was my um, another YouTuber, myself overwhelmed. Um, I'll put his link in the description down there. He's got really good let's plays, so he's the one that told me about all these settings here, specifically the lossless capture and gamma correction in the editor. And that works great. So. Let me go on to some of these other things. I have some scripts as well that I want to show you that I use to get all set up for recording Minecraft. So I want to go through those scripts and those programs before I actually get into it. I have a folder here with all the goodies I use to record. And what I'm using right now. So if you look over here, let's see. Um, Sizer is a nice little program that allows you to configure a window size so that you can record the proper uh, resolution here. Like 1280 by 720 is 720p. That's the default for many YouTube videos. That's the standard high def video. It's not 1080p, it's 720p. And frankly, my computer can't handle 1080, so I'm not going to be showing you that, but I will show you 720, and for the most part, that's fine. That's great quality. Um, what it does is this accounts for the difference in the window border and the title. You see there's like four pixels there on that side and there's four pixels on this border on this side and so that has to be added to the total width so you get 1288 instead of 1280. And Sizer will add this little menu here. You right click and you can choose your options. Now these were two settings that I added so, boom, that'll set up the inside of this window, not including this top title bar part or the sides, left and right, so it's all the middle. And what that's used for, in conjunction with an auto hotkey script, which I got here and made a little icon, a shortcut to make it all nice. It, what this does is it launches Audacity, it launches Sizer, it launches Fraps, it launches Minecraft, and it resizes Minecraft and exits Sizer. So, there's Minecraft, there's the window. And it is the correct size now for recording. There's Mojang. I can minimize fraps and we don't need that up now. Okay, so, wow, that's 400 frame rate. I don't think you can see that. I don't know if you can see that in the video or not, but my uh, frame rate for Minecraft says 500 frames a second which is kind of insane. I don't think that's quite right. I don't think I've ever had it that high. Wow, okay. Going back to the scripts. So we got Sizer. Now, Auto Hotkey. This is one of the scripts I made here. Um, this tells it not to show the tray icon, so it doesn't show the little H for Auto Hotkey. This is an Audacity script that I'm highlighting down here. It's a different script 
which um, allows me to toggle of recording both on the recording and the mic and the uh, Audacity audio at the same time. So okay, so Minecraft recording, run, turn, run sizer, waits a quick second, then it checks to see if Fraps is already running, and if it is already running, it just minimizes it. If it's not running already, it starts it and minimizes it. It checks to see if Audacity is running. If it's not, it runs it, and it waits a quick amount of time in computer time. I think it's milliseconds. And then once the Audacity is up, the window is available, it maximizes it and minimizes it, which allows it to be set up for the clicks later for the other script that I have. Um, this script then next checks to see if Minecraft's running. If not, it runs it. And then it will right click and then left click and left click. And that right click is going to be on the title bar and then in this area here where the sizer would be. There you go. And then left click will be this for fraps. I have a separate setting for Cam Studio. Cam Studio is a little tricky to get working right, but you have to adjust for some things. But this is for fraps, and it resizes the window there with that script. And then it closes Sizer because all it's needed is just to close it. It's a tiny program anyway. And the script exits. Okay, so now the other script it makes it real easy just to toggle recording. This means when you press F9, which is my default record key, what it'll do is it will start recording in Audacity, and it'll also um, allow it to, this little tilde thing means pass through, or still go to the program that it would have gone to if you would have hit F9 anyway without capturing the key and overriding it. So it lets you do fraps. So it'll stop the fraps recording automatically with F9. So that's nice. It also stops Audacity at the same time, so it's easy just to join up the tracks in the editor and be done. So next step is to um, actually get in the game here, and I'm going to hit F7 to do a little bit of recording. Just a very, very short, because I don't want to go too far. Okay, I think I'll go over here. And then, okay, recording now. So my frame rate's terrible because I'm recording with both. I shot an arrow with the floor, and there's my dog. Okay, I'm not recording anymore. I just wanted to make that really short. It's because I didn't want to have to wait forever in the processing stage. And closing out of Minecraft. So now we have footage from Fraps.